Hi, I'm Jonathan Oxer, and this is Walk Time Blog, episode 12, Cool Tools, Git, Google Docs, and Dropbox. It's been my objective for a very long time to be able to walk, <laughs> to work rather, totally independently of any particular computer. I want to be able to walk up to any machine and have access to all of my files and be able to work um, just as if I was at my own laptop or desktop or whatever. So, um, over the years I've tried lots and lots of different things. For quite a long time I had my entire home directory stored in a revision control system. So, I started using Subversion quite a few years ago. And uh, so what I did was kept doing check-ins and things like that every time I um, wanted to... Yeah, every time I updated a file on my desktop at work I would... Um, I would SVN add it and commit it and etc. Which turned out to be a real pain in the ass for things like dot files that were changing all the time and cache directories. So it took a lot of fiddling over a long period of time to get it working reasonably. And um, but it did work okay. It just often it would take a very long time. Like if I did an SVN status, it might take 20 minutes or half an hour because I had hundreds of thousands of files and tens of gig of data. So. That was interesting because it meant that my um, documents were the same on my laptop and on my desktop machine, um, but it was a little bit cumbersome. However, I am a huge fan of source code management revision, revision control systems. Um, nowadays, I use Git for most things um, in terms of looking after source files, including hardware design. So. Pretty much anything I work on um, that is not you know, a document or something like that, I use Git to look after it. And um, there's a saying among people who like source code management systems that the threshold for the number of developers you need working on a project before you need source code management is one. And I totally agree with that. So even if I'm doing a little throwaway script, basically when I create a directory and start coding, you know, writing a file, one of the first things I do is git in it and uh, basically it gives you like, unlimited undo and I just keep committing along the way doesn't matter if I'm gonna throw it away um, you know throw the whole directory away a couple of days later it's um, having everything managed by a source code management system basically just frees you up from the worry of um, making changes and uh, yeah it, it lets you be adventurous basically because it, it, you know it's gonna cover your ass you can always get back to where you were if you need to. So, source code management, Git, awesome. Really, really cool. I use that for um, hardware projects as well, like Eagle Files for um, Arduino related designs. And of course, no mention of Git would be complete without GitHub. Um, GitHub is a website that um, manages your projects for you, or manages your repos for you, and um, gives tools for cloning and some graphical reporting and things like that. Really handy. Um, but as I mentioned before, that didn't work so well for my general documents. And um, what I do for that is Dropbox. Dropbox is a system that you that basically uses Amazon's S3 cloud storage, and um, you tag a directory or multiple directories on your machine, and they are mirrored back up to S3. So any change you make um, is automatically sent up to the storage system and you can have multiple machines connected to it. You can share directories between people. So what I have is a, um, a Dropbox account with 50 gig of storage and my entire documents directory is now a Dropbox directory. So as I'm making changes and things like that, on a machine at work, I can it's automatically um, pushed up every time a file is saved, and then any other machines that are running that are connected to that same uh, that same Dropbox account get updated automatically as well within seconds or minutes, which is really cool. It's basically like continuous um, off-site backup. So every time I hit save, stuff gets saved off-site, and. Um, it's really reassuring because it means that, well, look at me now, I'm walking to work and I'm not carrying anything. I'm not even carrying a USB memory stick. 
but last night at home I was working on files on my laptop. I just hit save and I know that when I get to my desktop at work this morning, all those files are going to be there. I haven't had to do a thing. So Dropbox is awesome. Oh yeah, and I should mention a um, little self-interested plug here. If you are interested in trying out Dropbox, you want to sign up for an account, don't just go and sign up. Let me know by email or whatever and I'll send you an invitation because that way I get bonus storage and you get bonus storage as well. If you are referred by someone, you get more storage than if you just go and sign up in isolation. So we both win. Um, now, Dropbox is great for, um, for storing files that you want to access as if they're local. Um, and it also helps a bit with collaboration. But that brings me to the third really cool document management tool, which is Google Docs. And I love Google Docs, it's awesome. I love the fact that I can be logged into something and like into a document. Other people can be logged into the same document. And um, you know, I can be typing away, I can see where their cursor is, they can type away. So you can have joint editing of documents. Um, Hugh Blemings and I used Google Docs really extensively when we were writing Practical Arduino. In fact, pretty much the entire book was written in Google Docs. And what that meant was that um, we could be editing it, or we could be writing it, looking at each other's work as it was being written, offering suggestions, adding notes, and our editor could also be live watching the document as we were writing it. Um, it has undo in terms of, um, it, it just saves continuously. This is a really interesting point actually. The old paradigm of saving a document or saving a version of a document is somehow mysteriously missing in Google Docs. That's because it just keeps saving continuously every time you make a change. And at any point in time, you can go back and see what the document looked like at that point in time, which is an interesting idea. It's breaking that whole concept that storage is expensive. You know, it's the new paradigm. Storage is cheap, so just save a copy of every single change that has ever been made to the document and don't even bother showing a save dialog. Just do it. So, there are some really interesting things in Google Docs. Um, now, in terms of generating nicely formatted documents ready for presentation and things like that, it's not so good. Um, the layout tools in it are um, pretty crap, basically, but for internal documents or for collaborating on original content, which is then ready to be prepared for you know, um, proper page layout and things like that, it is awesome. I love it, and I love the fact that I can access it from my phone or anywhere, so I could grab my phone right now and access spreadsheets and edit them live, and if someone else was, you know, at work was logged into that same spreadsheet, they would actually see me editing it as I'm changing it. So, Google Docs, way cool. Um, if anybody else has any suggestions for different uh, tools that you use for managing documents, particularly for freeing yourself from a particular machine and from or for collaborating with other people, I'd love to know. See ya.